You're watching. You're watching. You're watching. You're watching West Hartford. West Hartford Community Television. Community Television. Community Television. For the community. 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 By the community. By the community. By the community. By the community. For the community. By the community. And it's a wrap. Hi, happy May, everybody! Happy May! Oh, we're back. We're back! Toast, toast to May. Cheers, happy May. Toast to spring. Happy spring. Cheers, spring. Cheers, Margaret. Cheers. So, everyone, we have to talk about the past month. In our one year anniversary, I can't believe and this it's is a one really year, special May, show. right? Oh my gosh. I'm like not gonna Who cry, but we've been on for a year now. I, but it, it went flew by so fast. It's yeah. so fun. Yeah. This is like the best hobby ever. Right? <laughs> it really is. <laughs> no, everyone's like, how and do you we do it? Like, yeah. we don't get paid. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and how right. many topics have we covered? Like uh, everything from nutrition, health, to health, election, nutrition, health, wellness, fashion, fashion, fashion wine, kids, a lot of wine. Did we talk about wine? We did a little because bit. we <laughs> had uh, the it. wine guy. Of course. Yeah. 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 We have so many. I last it through you guys. You're so lucky, oh, women, Mario. Mario. <laughs> I know. We've had a great year, and I just want to say thank you, have, yeah. thank you to you guys. Thank, thank you for to our viewers. Part of who yes. us. Even the ones that are not related to us. We're so excited <laughs> that, they watch, <laughs> that they watch us. Thank you. So, um, yeah, it's been a great year, and right. uh, we have so many more fun things planned. Got a lot of different things planned for this year ahead, yeah. too. I yeah. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait That's a minute. It. It's time already for our favorite thing. I can't things. believe it. Really quick. And Lori is not kicking it off. Nope, I'm not. Cam is kicking it off. Don't mind my nails. My nails aren't good today. I know, but oh, why are we, don't even bring attention to that. that. My nails yeah. aren't good. Still look at the nails. They're okay. fine. They're fine. So we're going to do our favorite things uh, portion of the show. It's my which favorite. Is her favorite part. And do you want me to start? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I've done a couple of things in the past. I've done food. I've done, you know, body lotion. I've done exercise, <laughs> tribe. So I thought, what am I gonna do? What do, what do I love? And you know, every day I've gone spinning from like, I started out two to three days, yeah. then I went three to four days, now I'm at five to six days a week. Oh, you're crazy. Yeah. You're and to spin <laughs> crazy. Do you know what I love? It really is. This is what I love. Okay, what's your? Lily oh, makes yeah. me happy. Yes, she it does. It just speaks to me. I have the same one. And this is the Lily Starbucks Swell Bottle, which was like, it, it took forever to, like, it was impossible to get. It was yeah. like, it was like Cabbage Patch It was Patch sold dog. out, like, in, like, yeah. a day. Cabbage Patch. Bringing it back old school. That right. shows my age. But, yeah. Did she say Cabbage Patch? <laughs> yeah, Remember when you couldn't get that? Yes. Yes, yes. And my husband happened to be at Starbucks, and it was just, oh, like, husband. there. Oh, what a good husband. How do you? Like, you know, and you know what I love about that? that, that room. Not only is it beautiful, it literally keeps your water cold. Freezing cold. Water cold. And you know, from, from 15 minutes of spin from beginning to end, it's a perfect, like, Oops. this just makes me happy. I know it's just a water bottle and it's ridiculous, <laughs> but, but it's nice. It's my favorite thing. Nice. It makes and you so happy. It's Lily Pulsar it's pretty, is my, obviously pretty. my designer of choice, so here she, here the, here she is. Okay. So right, how about Lori. you, Lori? You I guess I'll go. Yes. So my favorite thing is jewelry, of course. I love jewelry. But it's called Benny and Ezra, and it's a necklace. And you can get oh. lots of other things. They have lots of things. But... <gasps> it's a necklace, this. yes. And oh, then it has that charms that you can add to it. My charm says, "Believe in the journey," and this one says, "What does it say?" <laughs> <laughs> what does it she say? Loves it so much. Much. She needs trust, a reminder of the message. Trust the journey. Trust the journey. So there's all little different little charms that you could hang that from this so necklace. Cute. Oh, that's cute. You can add on. And you can add, keep adding on. And it's my. This is actually a gift from my daughter for for Christmas. But um, so pretty. Oh, yes. Where it can it's live. Just find and it anywhere. Actually, the, I bought this at when well, my daughter bought it at Blue Moon. You could get all of the little charms oh, and West there Farm. too. It's adorable. Yeah, and it's pretty reasonably priced. I think the necklace was thirty six. I think the charms could be like twenty four. I like it that it says twenty dollars. Like, like, yeah, message. little messages. And it looks good with could, everything you wear. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love it. I love it. Very so that's my new favorite thing. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. nice. Carol. All right, so my favorite thing from May. Yes. Um, having just come back from kids' school vacation, we went to the Bahamas. Keep rubbing oh. it in. <laughs> so, yeah, really. our first time, working. and for years, the kids have been seeing that commercial about the shark tank and going through the shark tank in the water, so we went to Atlantis. So my favorite thing from May is Atlantis. So oh. now, with summer vacation coming up, I would 
Highly recommended, yeah. Venice. It was so fantastic. I saw from the pictures. Wait, you oh went through a shark tank? You do. You go through a shark tank. You're in a tube. You swim with a shark. Nope, you're not in the water, but <laughs> oh, it's okay. in the tube and you're going through it. You have you that. You have Weren't a you restaurant. Okay, no, it was amazing. It was so pretty. No, I've been they to Atlantis. I love it. Stingray pools. They had dolphins. I think we need to do a mom's time pools. out retreat it was fantastic. at the Atlantis. Oh, I think it'd yeah. be great. And Rachel at the Atlantis was super. She was their PR person and she was fabulous. And wow. I think we're throwing. Go a there for the summer. And the kids yeah. loved it. Oh my gosh, the kids loved it. All those Thomas slides, awesome. it was great. Nice. Adrian, what do you got so, hidden down there? So my mom. So my favorite thing this month is all of you, because you all took this journey. Oh my with God, me. where is the box tissue? And, <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> my. It's not fair. No, it is fair. Oh. My favorite thing is my favorite DJ oh. is Mario. Oh my God. Oh my God. So Thank we you all. You are, so are my favorite. She called a Mario right now. Friend. She called oh a Mario. She did. You are all my favorite. favorite co-host, MTO. Hashtag and, MTO. And Thank I have two you. favorite directors for that. Diana and for Meredith. They're because awesome. Because really, really they you guys awesome. took a leap of faith. And when I they keep us proposed all this crazy idea, like, hey, you want to do a TV show where we talk about things and we go on air and they're all like, well, maybe, and we have wine. Okay, we're in, you're in. And, and they love us, right? It took a little, more, a little bit and more No, but I just want to let you know, like, you're all my favorite yeah. people and I really Aww. appreciate you guys Aww. and Thanks I love you. you and I know Aww. it's crazy to try to squeeze in a television show in the middle of our crazy lives, but I just want to let and you know. And thank you for keeping us on track. Yeah. Yes. So yes. you're all my favorite thing. So with Aww. that, I think we're going to take a quick break and we're going to come right back. Yes, we'll yes. be back with our special guest. We have two women here to share with us their take on women in sports. You'll probably recognize both of their names and uh, we'll see what they have to say and see how far we'll we have to We'll pour them one too. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome we back. We are so excited to have Meg Patterson Cuomo and Rachel Lobo Lowry joining us. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Oh, cheers. We love Mario coming yeah, in. So, we do, we do. Toast, toast, toast. Hot topic, hot topic tonight. Yeah, so tonight we're talking about women in sports, and we are so excited to have our guests here tonight with us. I will introduce Meg, and Lori, I think, is going to introduce Rachel. Mm -hmm. So, for those of you who do not know Meg, I'm just she's. Drink <laughs> there you go. That's what we do here. A familiar face to Husky fans, Meg was a four year winner at UConn four-year letter winner at UConn. She was named MVP of the Big East Tournament her junior year and served as team captain during her senior season. She was a thousand-point scorer, and upon graduation, oh, Meg, joined, <laughs> Meg joined the UConn women's basketball coaching staff. Following her time in coaching, Meg has gone on to have a successful career in broadcasting. Since 2012, she has served as a color analyst for UConn women's basketball games, Broadcast on SNY. What is that, SNY? Sportsnet New York. Oh, nice. God, don't tell David. Now, it's not West Hartford, but... But we can close. still watch you. Mm -hmm. close. Prior to joining SNY, she spent 15 years working for Connecticut Public Television. Oh, so you're like such like, what is happening? Yeah. yeah. This is... She's a pro. This yeah. is wonderful. And where she served as a game analysis and hosted the Gino Ariyama Show. Meg resides in West Hartford with her husband, Angelo, and their children, Angelo, Kathleen, and Claire. We're thrilled we have Kathleen and Claire in our audience tonight. We do. But adorable. thank you, Welcome. Meg, so much for thank being here guys. with us. Thank you so much. And Meg and, Ma and I, we know each other because our girls swim together. Yes. And it was just a pleasure to invite Meg and Rachel to be with us tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Couldn't I have gone first after that repertoire? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. Let's not be so humble. That's so right. we want to welcome Rachel yeah. Lobo Lowry. She's a key account sales rep for Adidas America. Rachel was born in Hartford and grew up just over the border in Southwick, Mass. Both of her parents were teachers, and she's very involved, and they're both very involved in your life. So that's great. Um, in both school and athletics. In fact, her father is still coaching track and cross country at Granby Memorial High School and we'll be honoring him soon for the 50 years of coaching. That's wow. I love that. Wow. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're naming That's the amazing. track after him at the high school. That's He's my best. Yeah. That's wonderful. Whoop. Great man. Yes. That is, Great that man. is wonderful. So she played ba basketball at Salem State University, a NCAA Division III women's basketball. After graduating, she was assistant coach for two years Rachel currently works at Adidas America and has been there for 19 years and coaches fourth and fifth grade girls basketball 
at St. Thomas the Apostle School here in West Hartford. She and her husband, Ronnie, live in West Hartford and have two boys, Chase 10 and Caleb 7. Yep. Welcome. Welcome. Thank Welcome. you. So I'm yeah, interested in your coaching girls. Yeah. You're coaching your boys. No, my husband does that. Oh, <laughs> I like it. But just seeing the, uh, you know, the excitement and I, I just, I couldn't be on the sidelines, so I had to get involved. So. That's awesome. Well, and, and so part of the reason we wanted to have both of you here is because we've been seeing a lot more, especially in public media, about women in sports, right? Mm -hmm. Serena Williams Absolutely. announcing she had a baby and she won the Australian Open, um, women's soccer just yes. winning. Um, there's a lot more media attention being paid to women in sports. And all of us sitting here have daughters, right? Mm -hmm. And so we pay attention to women in sports. And both of you coach women in sports, both of you played women in sports, and I know Title IX prohibits discrimination against girls and women in federally funded education, including athletics program. I read a lot about mm -hmm. Title IX. So I just thought having you here, not only as for athletes in your own right and coaches, you're both working. You're working at UConn in the mm -hmm. development office, and you also help out on the women's basketball team. You're working in Adidas. You are. You see women athletes today, and so do you think that um, there are more women that are either entering into athletics since Title IX or going into coaching? Or you must see seen a change since you've been in school. Like I've I've seen a huge change, and Rachel and I are almost. We're, I'm just a year older than you, mm -hmm. I think. So there's been a huge change. You know, back when I was a uh, a freshman at UConn back in 1988, um, we played basketball in the field house. Gampel wasn't mm -hmm. built. And Chris Daly, who is still the associate, she's now the associate head coach, she had to teach a jogging class and she would give extra credit to students in her class if they would come to our games. Wow. And that's how far it's she come. She had to give extra credit because no, no one came to our games because nobody cared. Right. Mm -hmm. And so now, when I walk into campus, which is crazy back, because now right. UConn women, oh, I mean, right. I mean, it's such a huge, right. It's, right. Totally. yeah, it's, it's crazy. Amazing. So I mean, I've seen a huge change in just um, not only the the public and and following it and being into it, but the support that you know different whether it's on the college level, the high school level, you know, people are more interested mm -hmm. in, in supporting women's sports. I mean, and the other thing that they have now is is basketball or any sport for youth girls. I mean, mm -hmm. when I played, it was seventh and eighth grade is where you started. Mm -hmm. I mean, right. I'm coaching the fourth and fifth grade girls, right. but you can start even younger than so that. So, Rachel, when you played, did you play in seventh and eighth grade? I did, but that's where it started. Was, right. was, there, it was there was no girls team in no, elementary No, it was, it was a girls team. But it no, didn't start not, not, but not before school. that. Basically, now it's elementary. Yeah. Yeah. And right. we didn't travel and play. We, there was maybe like two schools that we played, and it was like the same rotation. Because of, not all the other schools had, had girls teams. teams. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I grew up in Pennsylvania, and I was the only girl. It was a co-ed league, but I was like the only girl. And wow. I had three brothers, so it didn't bother me. Which is crazy. Mm -hmm. Now you look right. at it today. Like, yeah, my girls play in West Hartford here, and they and like yours. And, and, and it wasn't that so. long ago that there were that there was mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. that that yeah. happened. So we've come you. a long way in a short yeah. time. Well, I wanted to say too when you had mentioned about Title IX. When we were kids, my mom was the Title IX coordinator when we were growing up wow. in, in our town. Really? So the wow. funny story that my sister always tells when she speaks is. When she was in fourth grade, my mom signed her up for basketball. There were no other, other girls that signed up except for her. So they called my mother back and said, we're sorry, your daughter's the only girl that signed up. She's not going to be able to play. And my mom said, oh, no, she's going to play. You just put her on the boys' team. She said, but there's one caveat. When you guys play shirts and skins, she's on the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they were saying she can't play because there's because a boy. There was no, because it, there was no name girls' team. Your sister, what your sister's name is. Obviously, like you're obviously Rebecca Lovell. Rebecca right. Lovell, yes. Right. Right. You brought her up so, otherwise. <laughs> that, good for your mom, though, for advocating. It was for very, yes. I mean, when my sister played mm -hmm. baseball, she wanted to play. Wow. There was no baseball, yeah. there was no softball in yep. Rocky Hill. She was the first, my mother did the same thing. She said, you're putting her on the boys' team. Yep. But um, but it's it's crazy to think about it now because when we want to sign our daughters right. up for There's a sport, so of course there are sports for girls. Can I, I just thought of this really cool story because we mentioned your sister. So the first year of the WNBA, right, mm -hmm. Rebecca Lobo was playing in the league and playing for the New York Liberty. I'll, to me, this was the most sort of mind-blowing moments for me as someone who's been involved in and to see women's basketball evolve from when nobody cared to now women are playing in Madison Square Garden, right. sold mm -hmm. out arena. Right. There was a little boy who was maybe 10. He had a Liberty jersey on and he had Lobo on the back. Oh. Yeah. And that was when it hit me and this was 1996, I think, 97, 97. Mm -hmm. 97. 97. And I thought, we have changed. We've made it. Yeah. 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 yeah, we've changed and it was really, that was a, 
um, a cathartic moment for me that I'll never forget. It's mm -hmm. cool. And there's still so much progress to be made. I mean, oh, there's sure. still mm -hmm. a lot of inequality in like WNBA players, what the females make versus what the males yep. make. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, most WNBA players have two jobs. I mean, right, that's exactly. their summer gig. Take, that's right. their But main. they have a, another they job when Europe. they get out. Yeah, they right, it's changed a lot, but we still, mm -hmm. yeah, we still have a lot to change still. Right, yep. right. But I feel like even the UConn basketball team has, it, the women's team, it's like a phenomenon oh, in yeah. the state. Yeah. Even more so than the men's. I, I mean, that's what I'm seeing. And right. even that's my husband is a, a huge following. sports fanatic. And he's all about watching women's basketball. And yeah. I love it. It's like, yeah. it's just And I think level. because, too, you can't, um, most women can't dunk a ball. So it's fundamental. Well, I can. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we have a hoop. Bring out the hoop. <laughs> I can dunk my donut. Yeah, with <laughs> um, but you know, it goes to fundamentals where right. you have to run an offense, you have to play because you're not going to have all these you know fancy things that are going on, mm -hmm. you know. And and I think it comes down to you know playing more as a team. More people can relate to the women's game, right? Yes. Of course. Exactly. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, definitely. Because yeah. more, yes, because it's more fundamental and yeah. more. And I think it's more. I think it's fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I fun. really do. Right. Yeah. Right. Although there are a lot of people in Connecticut who say, "Oh, Meg, how do you do these games? They blow them out by 40. Mm -hmm. but well, if you watch the team, they're actually really, if you're a basketball fan, if you're a basketball purist, you will appreciate the way they play. Yeah, yeah. Right. If you haven't watched them, I There's would like just no say give them a chance. Yeah, they really, yeah. Yeah. They really aren't. Mm -hmm. And I, I give Gino and Chris a lot of credit because what they've been able to do and to maintain that level of success year after year mm -hmm. after year right. when they're crushing people year That's after year after year. It's not just And they luck, never, right. they never lower their standard. Like a lot of teams, you play a team that's right, not as good relax. as you. and. Yeah, and you just, oh, well, we're going to beat them, and we may not play as well. Like, we all have bad days and overlook stuff, you know, but they never do, and that's right, right. what impresses me. Right. Yeah. And the fact that we're talking right. about this, when you and I graduated from college, there mm -hmm. was no women's league. Mm -hmm. I mean, so. There was wow. no women's no. league. It started two no. years after See? we graduated, so yeah. when we were, you know, a senior in college, yep. That was it. That you had to go out right. in the working world mm -hmm. and get yep. a job. You and our girls will never not know. Right. But that's what it is. Right. 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 Yep. Just like right. they don't know what a phone is. Right. A wall phone. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. My girls are on an iPad right now, yep. so I don't know what you're talking about. Nor do they care about what we're doing. They're talking. not even looking at us. But, and another reason we wanted to have you on is because we often talk about being busy working moms. All four of us are working full-time yep. working moms raising families in West Hartford. And you are also. And So how do you juggle being a full-time working mom. Isn't Ringling mom. Brothers here this yeah. weekend? It is. <laughs> it is. It is. It's, it's crazy. It's not You're in easy. it, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The You're animals. the ringmaster. She's <laughs> the ringleader. <laughs> you know, it's um, it's not easy, and it's yeah. it's uh, oftentimes not pretty. Right. Um, and some days, I mean, some days you fail, mm -hmm. and some days you succeed, and some days you just want to get by, yeah, you know? Right. But you do the best you can, and... And thankfully, I can speak, you know, for my, I know Ronnie too, but my husband Angelo is great. He's a great, mm -hmm. you know, we, we're equal partners, and I will say publicly, he's a better cook than me. Ronnie too? <laughs> no, I don't know if I say he's better <laughs> when I cook, but he cooks more often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a great cook. Uh, I'm probably a better baker, but. Yeah, me too. But, isn't that funny? Yeah. Uh, I look like I eat more. It's something yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. So, I mean, you guys know. I mean, it's, yeah. it's uh, you can't support, do it alone. Yeah. Having yeah. other yeah. people. Yeah. We talk about that. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. definitely support is needed. Yep. Just to even get us here tonight. Yeah. Took like an hour. <laughs> well, I had to bring two of mine here. Yeah. Yeah. My son had a, a baseball game. It. I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> you don't know where he is. <laughs> He's as long as they're dressed. <laughs> yeah. Leave the house. Yeah, everything's yeah. good. Yeah. Exactly. It's not that cold out, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's true. The things that moms do mm -hmm. is... I just appreciate you guys for being here and really just... Well, I, you know, I don't want to speak for Rachel, but, um, but apparently I will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I, I applaud you and all of you ladies for taking the time and the effort and putting all this into pointing out something that no one ever has... You know, they're really taking the time to say, okay, wait, what moms do is pretty, pretty awesome. Special, pretty pretty awesome, special. Yeah. And for what you do you mean? Guys, I yell at David every day and I tell him how special I <laughs> am. <laughs> well, I mean, we know that, you know, stay-at-home moms, is, that's got to be the hardest Post job ever. Right, ever. right, right. And then to go into a working field and having kids, and it's like I remember having my first and being on that three-month, you know, maternity and saying, oh, I can't go back. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. I can't go back, I but can't I, have leave him. I have to. I have to. And just, you know, that first day back, 
I remember All literally the giving the, to the babysitter and, and going upstairs because I work from home and travel, but going upstairs and, and hearing somebody else taking care of my kid and then the one little <laughs> I was down the yeah, side. Okay, you down. know. But, but eventually you just it, it, you just learn and you go with the flow and you just get into a routine yeah. and I think mm -hmm. it's all about having that schedule. I saw in your last show when you said one of your favorite things was the Cozy app. Uh, I just oh, discovered yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, we download, downloaded oh, yeah. that. Yeah. Somebody watches it. The whole family, it's all color coded. So your yeah, daughters it's a, it's will have their own color. It's a calendar. On we do whatever you can all, to make every, it through yeah. the day, right? Yeah. Oh, I mean, right. like, yeah. But it's great because you can put your, the games in there. You can put, wow. like, there's a, gro right. a grocery I'm list. I mean, yeah, it is really yeah. helpel. Can I say one thing to moms? Because what mom guilt, sure. right? It's the oh, worst wow. thing. But can I say something that I have learned in recent years and I really try to stick to it? Guilt is a selfish emotion. So guilt is a selfish emotion. That's a good yeah. way to And so I really it, yeah. tried to give up the guilt because that just makes it about me. And yeah, it's no, not, right. It, and so I've worked really hard at it. Trust me, some days I'm not so good at it. But but that's a good way of looking at it because then you won't feel guilty because if you think it's selfish, then you don't want to be like, Exactly. Yeah, and it is, ultimately, yeah, you feel bad. But you know what? They're fine. They're great. Right. And yeah. as long as they're, they're in good care, it may right. not be us, and it's hard to get through that. But yeah. that's just us thinking, oh, gosh, nobody else could take care as of them. Well. Like, right. It's weighing you down. Right. It's right. negative right. energy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. It's just a tear. It wears you down. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to go off topic, but I want to ask. I want what to is ask. going on? Oh, yeah. I, I, so, well, I got to ask something, to Rachel. Yes. Um, I know you're a sales rep for, for Adidas. Yep. My daughter is a big fan. She's 14, but she's a big fan of Adidas. I don't know what's going on with Adidas. Oh, they're sneaking yes. on, right? Yeah. You guys are blowing up. Yeah, yeah. we're doing Adidas really well. Adidas is like the yeah. thing. Rock on. Very it's well. like uh, it's kind of coming yeah. around again. I feel like it's kind of yeah. like um, those white the sneakers. The white sneakers. Yeah. That's yeah. what yeah. everyone's yeah. loving. I just stars. ordered a pair for Jenna. Superstars. Yep. Well, my my, my daughter is about the apparel and the, the clothes. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. You know, it's just I think a lot of it has to do. Uh, our brand has. Well, the first thing that we did last year is we refocused on women. Um, that was a Good huge thing. initiative for us. Is you know not only do moms shop for themselves and their kids, mm -hmm. but you know, we are 50% of, you know, what happens in, the, in this world. So let's say 90%. 90%. Yeah. <laughs> so we really wanted to go back and focus on like that. Show. But it's not, it's yeah. a lot of grassroots, um, you know, going into neighborhoods. We're actually doing a lot of things. We partner up with Parlay with the Oceans. So we literally take plastic bottles and all the plastic junk from the oceans and we have created we just came out with a, a complete line of shoes that are made from all recycled plastic. That is so wow. Cool. Oh, that's that great. That's, I love that you focused that your great. campaign on women too. I yeah. mean, it's just And that's why it's blowing up, obviously. And I think, you know, you know I think yeah. Kanye West has a little to do with it, you know, with his yeah. line, but that's yeah. just a piece of it. Right. And then yeah. there's a lot of other Pharrell and um, it's just, it's been really a lot and of fun. And Rachel Lobo Lowry. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Rachel. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Rachel is like everyone's friend on Facebook these days. <laughs> but, but no. yeah, so. That's cool. good. That's yeah. very cool. No, yes. well, thank you ladies so thank much for ladies. being with us here tonight. Oh, thank you. We would love so to have you come out and do an MTO appearance with us. Maybe we could do like a bat. I can't play basketball, but I could cheer for you. <laughs> yeah. We could we, do like. We would rather like sit and talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, we'll go. Yeah. You know what? No, wait. Talk you know, this year. I saw she had You guys oh, want you, and yeah. we'll have the we number have cards. Oh, yes. yeah, you guys, yeah, we'll judge fun. you. Rachel had something in her Okay. Oh, yes, and really, where are we doing that? I see a present behind you, Rachel. Oh, oh. I have something for each of you. Does it say, can I, can we, can open it? Oh, Rachel gave, please say it, Dita. Oh my God, that was so nice. Rachel gave all of us that. And before we end, we have a little gift for Rachel. We have a gift for you guys. Yes, we do. Yes. Right now? Yeah. I hope you like red wine. Very nice. Oh, Thank you. This, What's this? is the bomb. What? Oh, oh my gosh. What? What? <laughs> I think it's going to be like that our favorite so thing, awesome. and we're going to have some of the show. Yes. I think it's going to be a Thank you so you much. Oh my God. I think so that's going to be a I should have told them. Yes. The water <laughs> bottle's out. Lily, water bottle's Next out. Next time you come, Rachel, they need to know. I should have told them. There you go. I should have had a nice bow on those. I always forget that part. Thank you so much. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are awesome. So Thank interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, I love you. You know You have to come to an MTO appearance. Okay. And then we'll announce Rachel and Meg. Yeah. Happy appearance. <laughs> Next time we'll bring a hoop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo. Such fun guests. Oh my God. They that were amazing. Great. Those are powerhouse women. Oh, they are. really? Most they definitely. Are. Yeah.
Very inspiring. Like, I feel so schlubby. I just hear about it. I gotta get to the gym. Get to the gym. Do some sports. <laughs> exactly. I know, I know. Yeah. So amazing. great. And we were so excited to have and them. And what has happened? And it's all the And our course. favorite yes. new. <laughs> yes. Oh. We were our new gift. I, I love, love it. it. We could so put great. wine in here, Rachel. We could absolutely put wine in here. That's really cute. So, I want to talk about, before we wrap up, yeah. our new segment for every show that we've come up with, girls. Right. Yes. Are we excited about that? Because oh we God. like to so get things fresh around here. We do. Yeah, like, yes. So, we are going to do our MTO monthly appearances. Because so we what, know you want to hang out with us. Yes. and people Outside of Big Y. What, right. <laughs> and people have actually come up to us and asked to be on our show. How exciting is that? They're outside of Crate and Barrel. <laughs> outside of Crate and Barrel. Yes. People recognize our Crate and Barrel. Yes. Crate and barrel. And um, so, we're thrilled to announce that each month, we... There will be uh, where you can find us, how. Don't It'll stalk us, though. We right. don't need stalkers, <laughs> but, you know. That would be nice. It's like a Kardashian moment. Okay. Yeah. You know David and Ruby are like, what are they yeah. talking about? So, <laughs> basically, we'll be around town, events going on. Yep. There's always stuff going on in West Hartford, yep. as we know. So, we've been asked to do some appearances. And so, we'll post those on our Facebook page. So, yep. look out for those. We take and payment we will... if you want us to appear. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, there's that, too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, a couple of things. We have May 4th, the Iron and Green. That's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah I'm really excited fun. about that. that. At the Noah Webster House. Yes. $10 um, that. Yeah. donation, sure. right? And I, I love it wait. that the $10 donation goes back to the Noah Webster House because the person who is, you can find Iron and Grain pop up, I think it's on Facebook. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're yes. going to be there. We're going to be there drinking in our new Adidas drink. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then, um, we, and then have we have May 13th too. with the Mayor's Ball. Yeah, and I'm yeah. the Mayor's the Charity woods, Ball, yes. which is great. Yes. The theme this year is Into the Woods, and it's $200 a person, and the proceeds go to the Playhouse and Park and to the um, town, uh, town that Cares Fund. And so David and I will be there. We would love to have more people come and sit at our table. It's going to be a really fun yep. event. And then we also have the American Cancer Society. We have Relief for Life in town. Cam, you're planning, planning, you're planning an event. I'm planning yeah, that. I've been on the committee for a million years. Um, this time they've asked me to be a hero in purple. So you'll see me around town doing um, functions. I've in been purple. asked to do certain things. Do you have things. to wear purple? But, well, they, the American Cancer, they've got, they've got purple stuff for me. They do. Oh, yeah. 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 So look There's for me there. There's also a wine tasting on May 5th at Maximum Beverage from 4 to 7. You can find some of the Mom Time Out crew there having a wine tasting. Maybe. It's also going to be Cinco de Mayo. So oh, some of right. us oh, that could be trouble. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so mm -hmm. lots going on. Right, yeah. right. Exciting. It's it's a great town. And Adria, these are adorable. Oh my God, oh, so much. You're you're Shout out to Mr. Trophy, yes, who was able to do those in a really quick turnaround. So these are so cute. Thank Favorite so co-hosts so thoughtful. MTO. So remember, moms, you put the put time in. Don't, don't forget, forget to take the time out. Cheers, ladies. Cheers. Here's Mario. Cheers, Mario. What's the place where you go every night and you snuggle up real tight? Is it in front of your screen where everything we show is exactly how it seems? Everything we show is right for you. Everything we show is true, true, true. So get your drink and give us a wink because what you're watching is mom's time out.